Hello everybody, welcome to the last Rockabilly guitar lesson in 2017. It's the Billy Riley special. I didn't really know about Billy Riley uh, back in East Germany and then I went to my first big festival in Hamburg in the early 90s and almost every band played Flying Saucers Rock and Roll. So I had to go home, find out about Billy Riley and Flying Saucers Rock and Roll and uh, well, when I heard the original it just blew me away. So this special of course features Flying Saucers Rock and Roll and also Red Hot, one of the other great songs by Billy Riley and the Little Green Man, probably my uh, favorite rock and roll band, uh, featuring Jimmy Van Eaton on drums and Marvin Pepper on bass, uh, Roland James on lead guitar of course. I will teach you the first Red Hot solo right here on YouTube. If you want to learn the other three as well, you can just go to my website at uh, randyrich.de, the link is in the description below and you can download the whole lesson, including the gem tracks and tabs, for a small fee. Okay, let's get started. Red Hot is in the key of C, and by the way, I didn't use the split screen technique this time, because all the solos are pretty far up the neck, and I think you can see everything pretty well like this. There's no fancy finger picking going on here with the right hand, so everything is pretty straightforward. So you're starting on the fifth fret D string, Play the 7th, 5th on the G string, and then you pull off from 8 to 7 on the G string. One more time, this first phrase. It sounds like this. Pretty short, but you gotta play it six times. And then the 7th time, you start it like this. But you finish the phrase with your pinky on the D string 8th fret. While the index is still on 5. G string. So one more time the first 4 bars here. You start on 3 and 1 and 2 and 3. Then for the next two bars, you play the 8th fret with a slide here, G and B string. And then the next part. You just play the F shape, the C chord, but F shape, starting on the G and D string. Then the G and D, B string, B and E string, and at the end you just add your pinky onto the 11th fret for a C7. One more time this part. Next part sounds like this. You play 8 to 11 twice and then hammer on from 8 to 11 or at least uh, that's what it sounds like. It's pretty hard to hear with all the echo on the guitar and it's not too much up front actually. And then you play 8, 10 and 8. One more time this bar. And also the next part I couldn't uh, hear so I didn't know 100% that he was doing what I was hearing, but um, this is how I play it now. E and B string, pull off from 11 to 10, and you play 8, back to 10, and back to 8. Huh? And then you just repeat this phrase. Next part. That's actually the, the finishing part of the first solo. Starts here on the 8th fret, E string, then you slide to 13 B string. Oops. Like this. Back to 8. Pull off. 
Same on the B string. And this is the last bar. One more time, the last part here. And the whole second part starting with a C chord, F shape. And here's the whole first solo slowly for you. Mm -hmm. 